Good evening, viewers. Thanks for joining me on yet another informative Five Minutes with Zikta. My name is Edward Molenga. As you know, ICTs continue to play a very critical role for economic growth across all sectors. Therefore, we're all consumers of ICT products and services, right? Yeah, of course we are. Uh, we're looking at consumer protection and obligations on tonight's episode. Consumer protection is a set of laws and organizations that are designed to ensure consumer rights, fair trade, competition, and access to information in the marketplace. That said, let's join Marian Molenga, Manager Legal at Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, to talk more about consumer rights and obligations. Good evening, viewers. The Competition and Consumer Protection Commission has been in existence for the past 19 years, since its establishment in 1997. Back then, it was called the Zambia Competition Commission. The commission was renamed under the new act, the Competition and Consumer Protection Act, number 24 of 2010, as the Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, now called CCPC. The commission has a twofold mandate, that of ensuring fair competition in the economy, as well as ensuring protection of consumer welfare in the country. The Competition and Consumer Protection Commission works with various governmental agencies. This includes ZICTA. The commission has been working with ZICTA for a long time now. However, the two institutions decided to reduce their cooperation into a document called the Memorandum of Understanding. This was signed in the year 2012. Under this Memorandum of Understanding, the two institutions have come up with a committee that they call the Joint Working Committee, or in short, the JWC. It is this JWC that oversees the complaints that are lodged with the two institutions. The benefits of the Memorandum of Understanding to the consumers is that once a complaint is lodged with the CCPC, as long as it borders on the Competition and Consumer Protection Act and the ICT Act, then the Commission will get in touch with ZICTA on how they can work on the complaint that has been lodged. Same goes for ZICTA. If ZICTA receives a complaint, they're going to get in touch with the Commission as long as it's bordering on the ICT Act or the Competition and Consumer Protection Act. This therefore entails that a consumer will not have to go to both organizations to lodge a complaint. Therefore, a avoiding duplicity or causes of actions. In that way, it shows that the two institutions will deal with the complaint under one umbrella through the JWC. Consumers out there must also know that they've got various rights and obligations as they are purchasing ICT products. Two of the main rights of the consumers are that they have the right to information. So once a consumer goes into an enterprise to buy an ICT product, it may be a phone, it may be a laptop, it may be an iPad, the consumer must gather as much information about how that laptop works or about how that phone works so that they get the value for their money. Commission is now in all, in all 10 provinces of Zambia. Therefore, if you've been sold a defective product, you can easily get in touch with the Competition and Consumer Protection Commission through our toll-free line, which is 5678. Thank you very much, Marianne, for that informative insight. As ZICTA continues to foster connected communities, we understand that consumer protection is a process that has to be done in a more intelligent way, in a more organized way, and in ways that have been proven more successful. We've had a lot of benchmarks in terms of consumer protection, such as the MOU, which Marianne talked to you about with CCPC. Other than that, we've had the SIM registration exercise, which borders around consumer protection. We've had interconnection and roaming. We've also had the proposed new licensing framework, which circles around consumer protection. Thank you very much for joining me, and looking forward to being with you again on 5 Minutes with Zikta. And thank you to Southern Sun for hosting us this evening.